Hello, this is the Word of Righteous. Yes, we're back with another message. Well, first let's put God in this because, you know, when two or more gather together, now that you're here with me, we he's in the midst of us. So, Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for this knowledge. We thank you for uh, these new revelations and even more revelations on top of, of the revelations to get us deeper in you, more wisdom, more kindness and more gentleness, Lord, just like you are in Jesus' mighty name. Let your word be go forth. Yes, yes. So we've been talking about humility. Right now, I want to go a little bit more into this humility and why we seem to get this. Uh, we, we're off here, you know, that distorted understanding. We know that we're supposed to be humble. We even know about meekness, but somewhere along the line, we got to distort it now. When we talk about humility, we're talking about being low, right? So the Hebrew word means lowliness. And it's closely associated with this term. It's another Hebrew word. But the point is, it's lowness of spirit, right? Now, if we're not careful, we'll get caught up. Like I said before, thinking that lotus and spirit means being weak. But here's the key. Y'all ready for this key? <sighs> Get ready. Smell the roses, y'all. Smell the roses. Mm. Yes. Again, if we think that lowness is weakness, then it will lead to vulnerability, right? Because you're trying to... You're trying to deal with the situation in front of you, right? That's already making you feel weak. And then on the inside, there's this inner conflict because you can't really fight. You can't, or you feel like you can't fight. You feel like you can't stand up for yourself. Um, so it's, it's this inner conflict between what's going on on the outside and what you really want to do on the inside. So, you know, we, that's, that gives that, that false humility when we think that we're like, Oh, I'm I'm not going to be mad because I'm a I'm a woman of God or a man of God. But on the inside, we lie to ourselves because we're not worshiping Him in spirit and in truth. the The feeling that we feel on the inside when we feel vulnerable, it's not a good one. That's not what God means when He says be humble or even uh, I'm not going to go peek meek because I already talked about that. But when He's talking about being humble, it's not this week's state right i really want you to get that being low in the form of humility low in status or importance humble okay why are you now think about where you are we're gonna we're gonna break this down you are in the kingdom right when you walk the kingdom walks with you this is your house you stay in your room right the kingdom of God is with you. So we have the we have love, we have joy, we have peace. We have we're inside of the Holy Ghost, right? So this is important for you to realize because that means that it's not just you. See the distorted understanding and where you need to change your default is that we're not even talking about the person on the outside. This is only talking about you. The Holy Ghost, Jesus, who, well, you're in the Holy Ghost, you, right? Jesus, who is now interceding on the right hand side of God for you as the word of God. And then the father who is in control of all of this. These, this is where you become low. <laughs> now, with Jesus in the room, the Holy Spirit in the room and God in the room, who do you think? Need to be in the front. I'm sitting in the back. Come on. I'm going to get low. I'm going to get low. Why? Why is this so important? 2 Corinthians 12 and 9 tells us why. Paul says, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. So <laughs> get that. 
I'm going to boast. In this, in this scenario right here, I'm the weak one. <laughs> I'm going to sit back so that Christ can rest on me. He can go forth and he can rest on me, right? <laughs> oh, that is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses and insults <laughs> and insults. When the people throwing them insults at you, I'm delighting it because now Christ is resting on me. That's the low. Get low. Get low. That's the low we're getting, right? And hardship and persecution and difficulties. I'm going to read that again. That, that, that was a juicy piece of steak for, for the ones who are ready for the steak. Get this. This is where we need to change our default. Humility is not you stand, staying low in front of the person in front of you. It's staying low in that room and let the Holy Ghost, Jesus, and God do his thing. Yes, the Holy Trinity. Let them do what they're going to do. I'm going to sit right back and I'm gonna let my daddy do my work. <laughs> Go ahead, daddy. Yes. Abba. You can answer the door. <laughs> I'm sitting back. I'm sitting back. Let's read it again. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses and insults and hardship and persecutions and, and difficulties. Why? Because Christ's power. It's resting on me. Stay humble, y'all. Stay humble. Put on the cloak of humility. <laughs> and sit on back in that room of peace. And let God be God. Give it to God. Let God be God. Give it to God. And y'all going to find out what I mean when I say crazy peace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, let this word go forth and pierce the souls of those who need to hear and those who are ready for this meet. In Jesus' mighty name, I will see you again. Goodbye.